where all of that comes from. Well, that's this. why I'm glad we've had a chance to discuss Completely. It. I believe women are sovereign individuals and they can make any choice they so desire. I think that it's important that we remember that a man has a duty. I think I certainly in my relationship have a financial responsibility to provide for my woman. My woman would never have to work unless she wanted to because I'm the kind of person who works hard enough that should she wouldn't young have men, to. Should young men though all aspire to be like you? Should young men aspire to work very hard, have no criminal record, become multimillionaires, protect and provide for the women close to them, uh, be sovereign so they can stand up and have their own points of view in face of cancellation? be able to not be mentally intimidated when they go on national TV and there's traps set up for them. Yeah, I believe the confident, <laughs> strong men who stand up and protect and provide for women are a good thing for the world and a good force for the world. And I don't think that I put a magic spell on anybody. I think there's a whole bunch of men in the world who understands my value. And if, if men grow up to be like me, you're going to have a whole bunch of people with no criminal record, dedicated athletes who protect and provide for the people close to them, are fantastic for the economy. And we're and I'm, not, I'm certainly not the worst influence out here, Piers. You have no At all. Has, at all twerking on the devil on music videos which our children are digesting you have uh drill artists singing about stabbing people to death in the middle of a knife crime epidemic you have rabid uh psychopaths on whether the right or the left announcing violence on the other side you have all these insanities in y'all attack because me. i sit here and say i yeah perhaps now you've you've laid it out and it offended you i understand I didn't say it offended me. Okay, cool. I just read you the things. You read things that you said they could be offensive and some people are offended. Well, some people definitely were offended. Absolutely. That's fine. And, and honestly, I think some of the things you said were genuinely offensive and misogynist. Okay, Who cares? So, and, and like actually, I, so like I let said him, earlier, let so him, him finish you. his no, point. Fine. I let him finish you, his you point. Me, now you're saying they offended you, which is fine. And the, But the point I'm trying to make is this. I'm not the devil. There are certainly worse people than me. And I don't disagree And they exist. And, and I'm saying that my core tenets to the people who don't understand me are self-accountability, so I'm accountable for everything I've ever said. My core tenets are responsibility, so I'm responsible for everything I've said. My core tenets are traditional masculinity to a degree, which involves protecting and providing for women. And I'll make another point, another point here that's very, very, that's very, that needs to be said. The number of women who have stood up and stuck up for me is ignored. Thousands of women are making videos saying, I've met Andrew Tate, he's such a nice guy. I wish I had a man like Andrew Tate who felt responsible to protect and provide for me. You know what? I, I do belong to my husband. That's why I married him and I love him. We ignore the thousands of women who stood up and, and, and stood by me and said everything I said is true. And we're taking a very vocal minority who have taken the things I've said and are pretending to be absolutely and utterly devastated by them okay. for some reason. All right. Um, time, out. time out. Hold on, baby.